Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at two of the newest versions of APS3e a PlayStation 3 emulator for Android device now in today's video i have the newest 0.7.3 update of the APS3 emulator as well as 0.8 i'll be reviewing both of these versions along with that i'll be telling you guys what's actually new in this emulator in terms of change log and much more but before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel let's get started now if we just go and take a look at the about section or the update log of APS3 emulator you'll be able to see the newest update is of 2025 second march and this updates the 0.7 version if we just go and translate it here's the change log fix some shader cache related bugs now can be enabled updated llvm to 19.1 fix the issue of crash when the device does not support depth clamp along with that fixed key mapping customize path when importing pkg by the way if we tap on the three lines you'll be able to see some of the features such as key mappers which will let you map your controller directly inside this emulator so i think controller support has also been added so now guys some of the crashing issues while opening the game seems to have been fixed because if i just got and launch god of war e3 demo then previously if you guys remember then the game used to crash about 10 to 15 times until it actually started whereas now the game doesn't crash but the game doesn't start either which is a pretty funny thing so if we just got and launch it two to three times now you'll be able to see the emulator has frozen so currently there are new bugs in this emulator we just need to be patient though because aps3e is officially the best ps3 emulator for android devices at least for now let's keep games like god of war 3 demo aside and test out grand theft auto 5 instead because previously if you guys remember then when launching this game it used to crash during the loading screen so let's see if that has been fixed because if gta 5 is indeed playable in the aps3 emulator then it will officially be the best ps3 emulator and yeah guys official rpcs3 emulator has also for android but you guys know it freezes during the ppu compilation as well as linking ppu models even in the newest alpha version 2.0 of rpcs3 emulator it still has that freezing issue so currently it is in its alpha stages and the development is going on rapidly so we just have to wait for six months that is realistic expectation now guys for some reason just like the rpcs3 emulator android it appears that the game is freezing during the loading stages because I have waited for about 7 minutes and this game hasn't been loaded whereas in the previous versions of the APS3 emulator the games used to be loaded quite quickly and that was actually a pro of this emulator whereas now in the version 0.7 latest version as you just saw I am trying to load GTA 5 the loading takes on forever but I have restarted the game let's find out if it works or not and no guys unfortunately GTA 5 was unable to boot so let's just go ahead and try out our next game which is going to be Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm let's see how well does this work or if it boots at all and here we go guys surprisingly it booted very quickly compared to GTA 5 which was just stuck at loading screen so yeah the emulator still works which is a good thing but let's just go ahead and find out how well does this game actually work like if all the graphics output is proper and if the game is running smooth without any lagging issues so here we go here's the moment of truth seems like the shaders are being rendered properly all of our characters have spawned in and you'll be able to see the graphics resolution is pretty great i think 720p resolution and there are no graphical issues at all now here we go the game has begun and you'll be able to see it is running pretty smoothly on my android device and one thing which i have to say my device is getting a bit hot i have to be honest but other than that uh, it's not really a big deal the game is working properly without any issue which means that some of the small titles and anime games like dragon ball or naruto you'll be able to play inside this ps3 emulator for android anyways that is pretty good for naruto running on this ps3 emulator for android and i have to say it is working properly without any issues so let's move on towards the aps3 emulator version 0.8 now i'm unsure if this version is official or not but we'll be trying it out regardless only the aps3 emulator 0.7's newest version is available on its official discord server whereas i am unsure about this version 0.8 if it is real or not but here we go i have added it on my android device and if we just go and launch the emulator if we just go and tap on these three lines and go to the update log you will be able to see it does not have the 0.7 update log which means that this is most likely a fake version of aps3 emulator that you shouldn't try out nonetheless let's just go and tap on gta 5 and you will be able to see on screen touch controls with the aps3 emulators logo have been added so yeah 0.8 is a fake version it is not the real version of APS3 emulator nor is it the latest version so I recommend you guys to not try out this version of APS3 at least until it has been officially launched by its developer on their github page anyways that was it for today's video still APS3 emulator has lot of bugs which need to be fixed and I'll be here covering
covering all of the latest updates and telling you about the newest features of APS Simulator in future. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.